What's up guys? BTBS here. Welcome to technically the first episode of a new series because this is still part of my roguelike roundup but I have up upgraded from the Binding of Isaac original version which was the flash based one that had more than a few problems. I'm now playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth with its new DLC Afterbirth. I say no, it's been out for maybe two months or so. But yes, um, I started a file where I've been, where I was testing the game to make sure everything works. I actually find this game a lot easier than previous games. So if we start here, yeah, completely fresh file, and we're just gonna run. So if we take a look, there's actually new characters and everything as well. And um, yeah, I find this game to be a hell of a lot easier than the the original game for some reason. Uh, it might be because it runs at a steady frame rate and I'm getting 60 FPS and um, you know it's I actually don't know why it's, it's like easier for me to play but on the uh, file where I was just testing the game to make sure it ran and everything I ended up just playing it for a little bit I have no idea what that does I ended up just playing it for a little bit because it was because uh, it was really fun this is like the worst first floor boss um, yeah, I ended up beating Mum's heart like three, two times. That's why there was two X's on the post-it note. I ended up beating Mum's heart like two times, and I only did maybe fifteen runs. Right, this boss sucks all of the dick in the world. I want to try and. Uh... Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, um, that brimstone laser really hurts, and if you go up really high like this, he charges at you, like, just there, like that. So it's, it's easier to hit him up there, but then he charges at you. Range upgrade. I'll take that. So, if, um, if you've never seen the Binding of Isaac Rebirth or Afterbirth before, you might be confused about a few things. Um, it contains all of the content from the original Binding of Isaac and from Wrath of the Lamb. Ooh, um, I want to blow that up. But it contains an awful lot more content as well, uh, such as rooms that can be different sizes, like bigger than a single square or a rectangle. Uh, like, um, this room is thin and long, so it's a double different sized room. Uh, there's a fuckload more enemies, there's new areas. Oh, bum friend? I do not like- you know what, if we're going- mm, No, I need to save my- uh, I was going to blast open them pots. But I need to save my bombs. So, bum friend is uh, kind of annoying because I like to collect money. Especially now you can actually use money to donate to the shop and in, you can upgrade your shop. I never hit the start button on my recording. One second. Sorry about that. Yes, I was so excited to be recording this game, I stopped, I uh, forgot to hit start on my recording. Make sure my mouse isn't on screen there. What we got? Burning Basement again. Burning Basement blows ass. It's the worst starting area. Uh, and it's unlocked by default when you get the DLC. The Afterbirth DLC. Um, I'll trade a bomb for two bombs. I don't want to go into the curse room yet. So yeah, I've been watching a whole load of it. I've probably watched like five to six hundred episodes of uh, like Let's Plays and stuff of people playing Afterbirth and Rebirth, like combined. Probably more episodes of Rebirth than Afterbirth. Oh no! Damn it! Oh, I have no keys. So, I know a surprising amount about the game, and I know, like, strategies. I just don't have the skill to implement certain strategies. So, that's one of the things I'm, like, you'll see me doing things. Oh, god damn! Tinted rock paint out with a fucking chest. I need keys! Bum friend, you can pay out with keys, can't you? Who gives a shit? I got a key. Now, do I go in my shop or my I go treasure room? Definitely. How to jump? That is essentially. I don't even. I think the longer you hold the button for, the further you jump. That's a. It's a weird item. I'll tell you that. 
Uh, just check for tinted rocks. I don't see any. But then I am blind as a motherfucker. Ooh, I forgot those uh, mullabooms could just explode on their own. I'm actually enjoying having this range upgrade for once. Watch out. Yeah, you can use how to jump to uh, dodge. That's really useful, actually. It comes in really useful if you if you're uh, if you can't afford flying or just can't find it. Because flight is like one of the most important things in the game. Uh, I don't. I think the secret room's there. And I want to check. See, I put a bomb there, but it, uh, I don't know. Kind of want to go. It could also be here, actually. And if it's here, I'd rather check it. Yes. What do we get? We got a sack. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, a sack, um, you pick the sack up and it turns into like anywhere between one and five consumables. They are very rare to spawn. Um, I could bomb my way into my shop, but I kind of don't need to and I want to just go in there. We appeal a key, a coin purse. I'm just going to donate some money. One coin and it broke. Wow. So, the donation machine is a new thing in Rebirth. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Go on, bum friend. Four cents, what are you going to give me? Nothing. Get fucked, you motherfucker. Um. Yeah, and you know, if I'm leaving the floor... Have I fought the boss yet? I haven't, have I? No. Fight the boss and then go to the curse room. Uh, so, oh, is another new boss. So the donation machine allows you to donate your money to the shop and every like X amount of money you put in there, so I think the first one is 20 coins. Over It, it lasts over every run you do. Ah, fuck. No devil deal for me. Uh, so once you put 20 coins in there, the shop upgrades and holds more items. And it can hold at most, I think, two pedestal items and three consumables at the same time, which is really good. Oop. Yes, there we go. And... Oh, this counts as an enemy. I have to actually kill it. Sorry, I was just dancing with it. Monstro's Tooth has appeared in the basement for beating the first second floor boss. And is that... Coin purse? Yeah, wasn't that for sale in our shop? What makes you small? That lowers your hitbox. Luck up. That's great. Retrovision. That's really not. I apologize for that. And another one makes you small. So I am now so small that it's actually going to be hard for various things. It's going to be hard for enemies to hit me because I can fit through so many gaps. It's going to be hard for me to do certain things. Yeah, the coin purse is for sale in here. Do we know what that is? Fuck it. Speed up. Oh yeah, there's a voice that says it now. Awesome. I'm, uh, I'm loving this so far. Let's see what we've got in the curse room. I thought you might be able to jump in. What we got, what we got. Two spirit hearts. That's great. Because that will mean I've, uh, if I can not get hit, I've got a chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Probably not going to happen. If I don't get hit, it's probably because I'm already dead. How to jump is also nice for just uh, speeding around. I wonder what blasting cap does. Maybe every time you get hit, you explode, or uh, your bombs are bigger. Oh, seriously, we got a special floor too as well. <sighs> so the flooded caves is a new special area for the cave level. Because, you know, it used to be like caves or... I actually don't remember. It's basement cellar, caves something, uh, necropolis catacombs, isn't it? I have no idea. So yeah, the really useful thing about uh, jump button... Uh, not jump button, sorry, that's what someone else calls it. Uh, how to jump is you can use it to get onto all these little areas that you should not be able to get onto and collect all these consumables which uh, normally you would need either the ladder or flight to get so it it may seem like a fairly useless active item 
but it's actually very useful in, like, it's handy. Because it basically means, you know, you can use it for dodging, you can use it for speed, or you can use it for retrieving consumables that are out of reach. I'm actually going to take a look. I'm going to do this. Okay, it was worth it. We got Guppy's Tail. Pop the death card to kill off the first wave. So Guppy's Tail means we get more gold chests, but less keys dropping, I think. Oh, I hate these bonies. These guys suck. They fire very fast shots, and they're very accurate. There we go. And that's wave three. What else did we get? We got a super troll bomb and some pills. Pills are oh, amnesia, so we no longer have a map. And 48 hour energy. 48, sorry, I was letting him say it because the guy has a pretty damn good voice. Ah, uh, whipworm. Oh, that is horrible. No, thank you. Um, I don't remember the map layout. I'm going to pop these fires because I need every bit of help I can get. And, you know, I want Bumfriend to pay out more. I, uh, since my donation machine is already buggered, I'm going to actually give him, like, all the money I can. So I think I can go up. Yes. Ugh. What is that? It's some sort of flying cyst that's, like, coughing up blood. Get out of there, you dick. And we don't even need to waste a bomb. We can actually just get in here straight up with the the uh, jump thing. And that was really handy. Now you should pay out with at least three things. Two. I suppose two is okay. Sorry about that. There's a car going past that has some sort of loudener on its fucking exhaust. Um, okay, here's a big room. What we got? Dingles, mushrooms. Oh yeah, so some of, some of the other stuff that's new in uh, Rebirth and Afterbirth... Um, things on the floor, like, I don't know what you want to call them, curios, or decoration, blastables, like, uh, mushrooms and skulls, um, they have a chance to pay out, like, uh, tinted rocks do, but there's no visual indicator as whether or not they're a special one that will pay out, I think it's just a percentage-based chance. But mushrooms can pay out with mainly pills and mushroom items, like Mega Mush, 1-Up, Mini Mush, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. And skulls can pay out with tarot cards and black hearts, and various familiars as well, like um, Spectral Baby and Ghost Baby, or I think that might be the same baby. Yeah, they can pay out with uh, several familiars. I need some damage is what I need. I really need that deal with the devil. I've got some bombs. I'm gonna drop a bomb here. You know what? I'll take that. Liberty cap. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. I cannot remember what it does. I think it has an effect when you get hit. Oh yeah, it can also pay out with uh, mushroom based trinkets. Or pill based trinkets like um, safety cap. I really want to drop another bomb here. Oh, nothing. But yeah, there's no visual indicator as to whether or not it's going to pay out. So you just have to risk it. You just have to be like, you know, here's seven mushrooms that I can reach with a single bomb. This is worth a risk. Because it might give me an all stats up or an extra life. I also need to be very careful not to take damage, otherwise I will lose my best chance at deal with the devil. Which is what I really need. What is this? Pheromones. That makes every enemy in the room uh, charmed and like friendly towards you so they will fight each other. Woohoo! You missed me, you fucker. Ah! Okay! Jesus! Okay, that was like... I'm not even gonna say that was skill. That was panic. That was pure panic. Oh, this is the really easy Gurdy. Because she does that and I can just do this. Oh, God, I wasn't looking. Damn it. 
Well, this is like the easiest version of Gurdy because she doesn't spawn nubs, she just spawns flies. Oh, she does spawn nubs, okay. But yeah, all I need to do is just fuck off the side of the, uh, the side here and she can't hit me. Oh well, we took more than one hit of damage, so at least I know I wasn't losing my uh, deal with the devil chance by taking that one hit. Oh, you sneaky bastard! Okay, come on, we can do this, we can do this. I might need to take these nubs down. Yeah, they're starting to fire at me. We really need some damage, is what we need. Uh, an orbital would be useful. We might actually just die here, to be fair. I hope you guys can't see those Skype messages. Cold Fuse is messaging me. I think he's about to be a sweetheart and uh, give me a keyboard, because my keyboard is like two years old and cost me about three quid. Oh, well, there we go. That was bound to happen eventually. I'm just going to pause one second. Alright, get the mouse off the screen, and I'm back. Uh, just talking to Cold Fuse there. Oh, this sucks. So red fires can shoot at you. Uh, so they added a whole bunch of rooms like this in, in um, Afterbirth, where you have to activate a button to open the door. And a lot of them are really hard, and some people say they're guaranteed damage rooms. Because if you get the room, you're taking damage no matter how good you are, essentially. Well, there's a free red heart. That's pretty nice. Okay. Do we get Burning Basement again? Whoa! Oh, damn it! I wasn't counting on him turning into legs. I was counting on him dying. So I'm pretty sure if an enemy is burning, it can't be hurt by fire. Yeah, it looks like it. Their fart attack is just knockback, which is useful to know. And there's Cold Fuse messaging me again. Damn it. Well, it's hilarious, right? Because he, Well, he's going to watch this video, so hello Cold Fuse, I am talking to you from the past. Now, <clears throat> he was messaging me about the keyboard, saying that he'll, uh, he'll bring it over soon. And then he sent me a cheeky message just like, you better give me a shout out in your next video about this. And that message was when I was like, oh, that's Cold Fuse messaging me, I wonder what he's saying. And then, like, I told you guys about the keyboard. And then I told, this is so meta it hurts my brain. Then I told him that I'd already given him a shout out. And now he's asking which episode it, the shout out's going to be in. Oh, three bombs, nice. I don't see any tinted rocks. I love the face on this guy here, That's, it's just like, yeah, look at that ass. look at the ass on that Isaac. Kind of creepy. Uh, pride. So stay above or to the left and right, and watch out for bombs. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker! You put down a bunch of bombs, made me run to the side, and then you hit me when I ran to the side. I never even considered that was why he had the move that put down bombs. As a method of making you move. Uh, Stars takes you to a secret room. It could already, it could take me to a secret room I've already been in, which would suck. So I think that's a no. This is a little room, so that's nice and easy. Just two corn flies. And some poop. And there's our treasure room. Great. What have we got? What have we got? Um, thunder thighs. Which does what Lard used to do. Lard is now a two health up, and that's it, I think. Thunder Thighs is a two is a two health up. Oh no, one health up, a speed down, but you can now crush anything you walk over, like rocks, mushrooms, skulls, everything. So it might be in my best interest to break a whole bunch of shit because now I no longer have to use bombs to find. Uh, Tinted rocks. I can just look at something and be like, there might be a tinted rock in there. Crush. What was this room? Oh man. You guys are going to hate me because I am totally going to min-max this. Just use absolutely everything I can and crush it. Now, there's also a chance of other stuff. Like, I know once you destroy enough rocks, you unlock lucky rock or small rock. 
and uh, there's like a small chance for every rock to contain a passageway that can lead down to a crawl space uh, or I've already done this one didn't I yeah uh, it could lead to a crawl space or something else the speed down sucks but they're oh god oh you're really dangerous so that guy has spikes that come out of the ground and ah lucky rock has appeared in the basement there we go so you won't see my achievements pop for most of this stuff because I've already uh, earned the achievements for most of the early game stuff on the other save file. I really like the fact that you can have multiple save files, that's great. Because it means I can have one that I can play on my own and not ruin anything by unlocking it without you guys being there to see it. Or if you guys don't want to see me... Actually, yeah, leave a comment and let me know. Do you want me to do this save file only on video, or would you rather I played my other save file that I'm going to be playing on my own time and unlocking a whole bunch of stuff? Because I'm fine with it either way, it just means I have to swap save files whenever I'm playing on my own. Not a big problem for me. Uh, don't walk over the bomb rocks. I learned that mistake before. So yeah, let me know. Um, if you want me to use the same save file for on and off camera play, or if you want one save file to be only for on camera play. You know what? I'm going to take the Crystal Skull, even though it's bad. Come on, shot. Spirit Heart. That will do. So yeah, our donation machine still has one cent in it because it, it persists through runs. It's, um, it's a rogue light element, which I very much uh, enjoy. See, when I was fighting Little Horn off camera, I used these balls to sort of keep me on my toes and treated them like enemies so that I, I wasn't allowed to kill them, I just had to dodge them. And it was very fun. And I actually feel like I've gotten a bit better at dodging. I mean, all you've seen me do is the extremely lucky dodges, the I am a fucking luck sack and this is how I dodge dodges. But you know, you'll, you'll see my good dodges eventually. I want him to throw more bombs, because when he throws a bunch of bombs, he hits himself with them. Oh, you motherfucker. Right, fuck your bull. Ah! You hit yourself with that bomb. I mean, you also got me, but you did hit yourself. Yes, when he teleports randomly like that, there's a good chance of him hitting himself. And it can make this fight very quick. Well, there's some red heart damage, but I believe I'm still on the first floor, so it doesn't actually matter. Oh, bandage! That's a HP up. I think it might also be, like, increased chance for red hearts to spawn or something. Oh, who knows? I certainly don't. Let's see if we can pick up a, a speed upgrade. Oh, god damn it. Burning basement. As I've already pointed out, I do not like the burning basement because it's so hard. Oh, I don't have to shoot poops, I can walk through them. Awesome. I can stomp them. I can just tread on these poops and watch them explode neath my mighty tread. Oh, there's a free coin. Oh, that, that's why you shoot the poops, because you're after coins. Or various consumables. Oh, God. oh yeah! I don't have to use bombs to get tinted rocks. Duh. Well, you know what? That was actually just a good bomb on a room that I probably would have ended up taking damage on because I'm bad at this game. So I don't mind have you having used it. Because, oh, god damn, really? Fuck. Aha, gotcha. Right. Nothing in there. I doubt there's anything in here. I don't see any. If I see a tinted rock, I'll try and call it out beforehand, like before I walk over it. Because then I can just be like, see, I, I told you there was a tinted rock there, I even pointed it out beforehand. Um, two of clubs, doubles our bombs. We're going to use the stars card to escape so we don't have to pay health again. Dead Sea Scrolls. Upon activation gives you the random effect of anything. That gave us a uh, tarot card. 
So presumably the active effect it gave us was the deck of cards. Well, that's fine actually because I used the star card, the stars card, to save myself a health, like one hit, and to save myself spending a key. So it's great, and it actually was quicker as well because I went all the way down the bottom of the thing to do it, and then it moved me all the way up the top. Right, kill that. Kill this. I really need some speed ups. This low speed sucks. You know what? I think there might be a secret room here. So we'll have a look there. Nope. Huh. I would have actually, I would have put money on that being a secret room. My idea here is that if I remove some of these fires, they might walk into them and take damage from them like I can do. There you go, just like that. Do. Oh, not getting me with that. I'm too fast for you. I will put these out though. Use Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, Book of Shadows effect. Which is like seven or eight seconds worth of invincibility. You can't keep me trapped in here! Your flimsy rocks mean nothing to the power of Isaac's Thunder Thighs! Ooh, dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> there we go, and I've got the boss room. Huh, um, other places the secret room could be... Here? Good chance of it being there. Yeah. Three cents. And you know what? Let's go to the shop. Thank you, Fire, for killing those flies. What have we got? A bomb and a pill. And I don't have enough anyway. So, I'm just going to donate some money. Because why not? Because I like in donating money. It's, it's satisfying. And I only need like 20 cents to unlock the first level of shop upgrades. And I'm just going to do this because I'm worried about dying on this fight. I've got the High Priestess, which I just fucking used by mistake. Because I, I was checking my key bindings. That is just stupid. The High Priestess would have been perfect. Kill the little ghosts. Oh, Big Haunt can still hurt you. Really? That is so fucking unfair. Oh, he doesn't get caught on bombs anymore. He can just walk straight through them. I think that still hit me, you know. Well, looks like this run isn't going to be a very good one. Well, that, let's see. Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, oh, the Book of Belial. That would have been really fucking useful for the boss fight. God damn it. Okay, sacrifice room. Hmm, I want to check that chest. I've got two keys. What have I got to lose? A key. Jesus! Okay. Yeah. I spent one key for like for seven cents, a couple of bombs and some keys. And a spirit heart. Oh my fucking yes. I've already taken damage from one of these damn worms. I really need to get rid of the wall turrets. Oh, there goes red hearts. I am terrible at this game. Come here. Why is that one pulsing colour? Did I seriously just take two more hits there? Is this a champion? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, the fool. That teleports you to the first floor on the room, and I just took damage again. Wow. Okay, this might be a really, really short run. There's very little chance I take damage here, so I can just do this. Oh, yeah, I can also stomp rocks. Forgot about that one. I think that's another champion. See, I didn't think you got champions until you'd already gotten, like, beat mum once or something. That one dropped nothing. 
That was a Mr. Mega. This is not going well, guys. More of these. Perfect. Now I can die even sooner. Who has better range? I believe I do. Yay! I have slightly better range by like the smallest amount. Um, yes, come on, be something good. So this is a crawl space, and I think that's infestation. So these are the things I was talking about earlier. Is that infestation or a quad shot? It's infestation too. Which means every time I kill an enemy, they spawn spiders, I think? But that is exactly why I was crushing all those rocks, because that can happen. Uh, another Mr. Mega Bomb. Whoops, did not mean to bomb my donation machine. Um, let me grab this battery and use Dead Sea Scrolls again just to see what I get. No idea what I got there. Um, oh, did I heal? I think I might have got Yum Heart Effect, even though it didn't sound like it. Yes, there we go. Every time I kill an enemy with my tears, they turn into a spider. And the spiders deal like three times whatever your tear damage is when they hit an enemy. So they are super strong. Um, not going to pay out? Well, then you can pay out in hell. Yeah, that works. Um, fuck it, boss room. Chub, actually not that bad. I've got a couple of bombs. You know what they say about Chubb? Oh, that was a waste of a bomb. Yes, what they say about Chubb is that was a waste of a bomb. Okay, I am terrible at using combat bombs. I need to learn. Oh, he's faster than me as well. Well, you know what? Terrible, terrible, terrible way of playing. But that's going to have to do it for the first episode. So, um... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about all the cuts and interruptions. And uh, I'm going to see if I can record one of these where I actually, you know, make it to, like, the fifth floor. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.